Welcome back to another B&E Ice video. Today, we're off to Mallorca. The boys put on the new bucket hats and headed for the bus. Now begged for a picture by the side of the plane and then somehow ended up in the driving seat. The seatbelt sign came on and we flew out of East Midlands and headed to Parma. Traffic controlsman Luke Digby very kindly guided us in. He was currently on holiday with his girlfriend Megan. Niall landed the plane very safely and our holiday uh, training camp had begun. On the bus to the hotel. <laughs> It's a bit hot. It's a bit hotter than the airport. A bit too hot. <laughs> right, mate, this is this is too hot to size move now. Here we go. <laughs> this is nice. This is a bit of me. This is. This is what we need with fuel prices. <laughs> First day of camp. Just getting ready. Uh, just before seven. There's Kylie. We've already got our sun cream on. Just head off some breakfast and then. Um, Straight away hit the first ride. Let's see how it goes. Wakey wakey <laughs> man, come on. It's first the first day of camp. Oh, good morning. morning. <laughs> Where's uh, Mr. Marshall? Rand's in the bathroom, he might. <laughs> good morning. First day of camp, please. <laughs> you ready? Day one. Yeah. Breakfast is in nine minutes. Yeah, it's only like yeah, a five minute walk. Short, so it's on the top part, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Will be quite hot. <laughs> <laughs> First day, he's looking pretty tired. <laughs> looking pretty groggy this morning. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was feeling as well. I only noticed yesterday. Where's your bites? I've got one foot on the. This one's the worst. Enjoy the day, Brandon. Talk us through today's ride before we head out. <laughs> First ride, um, I think we're doing 105k, I believe. Quite flat to start off with. Um, we go up to one climb, up to a lighthouse, then all the way back up another climb. We do a little, a little loop round. But yeah, just easing into the first day. Um, should be good fun. Get to see where everyone's at. See if the bikes work. See if the bikes fit. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to get on the bike. Can't wait. We get some sun cream on. Haven't been burnt yet. So good. Jobs are good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hope to see you out there. Should be. You won't see me yet. You won't see me. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked me to get this for them. <laughs> That's insane. We have just kicked off the, the camp ride. There's the rest of the group. A few of them behind me. Oh. And that's the view to start us off. Look at that. Wow, oh, what a sunshine. Bloody brilliant. This is better than uh, the East Midlands. Boys have just started the first climb. First climb of the camp. Oh, out of the saddle already. Out of the saddle, here we go. <laughs> if you've been to New York before, we're off to the lighthouse. So, uh, wish we us luck. Like we get there. We'll tell you how it is. And we'll try and take lots of videos. Let's go. Check our Stravas as well. The ones with the KOMs. <laughs>
Oh, here we are. They made it, boys. They made it to the lighthouse. Look at that. Good boy. Oh, my Jake. Just came down there. Beautiful. Halfway through the first rise. Little, little click to celebrate. Absolutely ice cream. beautiful views. Adam's just made it in. He's in the cafe getting himself some grub. Nice little ice cream. <laughs> There's Matty G. What did you get yourself? Ice cream uh, and a Coke. Magnum mint and a classic cake. Oh, lovely stuff. Ice mate. cold. Well deserved. Yeah. The views from the lighthouse were absolutely insane. And it was a great way to start off our week of training in Mallorca. If this is your first time on the B&E Ice channel, don't forget to give us a subscribe. Like this video and go back and check out our others. Coming up the big hill. That's uh, the view. Sorry, my hand's shaky. Just done a hill sprint. Ooh. Sweaty gym session today. Ooh. Do not know how these Hispanolis do the. Ooh. The boys just got back from the gym. It's time to go get our recovery in. Where are we heading, boys? <laughs> Little spa day, get pampered up. Pedicure, manicure, facials. Please, monkey feet. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to see them put away. <laughs> So we just had our briefing for tomorrow. It doesn't uh, look good. It does not look good. <laughs> it's a whole lot of climbs. Um, what was it? What was the total? Total aim for tomorrow? 71k. Like 3,800 meters climbs. Yeah. Just gonna stop off with some ice cream. Yeah. Get some calories down us. Get some nutrition. No. <laughs> Nutrition down us to uh, get us up these climbs. Can't eat too much though because uh, it's gonna be too heavy. But um, yeah, we'll uh, show you some footage, show how it goes. Hopefully. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. It's day two. Today's a big ride. A whole lot of climbing. Some famous climbs. There's five of us at the moment me, Ethan, Brandon, Kyle, and Matt. Should we gonna join us after 50? Okay, once he's done with the other groups. So yeah, wish us luck. Here we are. Number one. Is that free to go? Complete. I've got like six to go. God, the minute. I did. Once the boys made it to the top, we stopped for a quick photo, ching ching, and then went all the way down to a famous cafe stop. I filled up my petrol station. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I filled up at the petrol station, and then the boys headed to the top of Sacalabra. Oi lads, how far is it to the top? Here we are at the top of Sakalabra, just about to start our descent, testing our limited capabilities and skills with our descending. We made it down all in one piece, just about. Here we had the uh, GoPro on a time lapse, and little fella kindly jumped out to surprise me going down here. A chamois cream turned from white to brown at this point. After over 20 minutes of descending, we got to the bottom, and 
probably nearly as physically challenging as going up. The hands are absolutely killing at this point, clinging onto them brakes. Ready to head it up. Just did that big percent. Just about up there. Somewhere up there we're going. Somewhere that little guy. For anyone that has done this, I was going to do this. It's stupid. <laughs> we stop for a quick picture and jump back on the bikes. The Strava KOM is 24 minutes, so the boys went for an effort to see where we ranked. On the first bit of the climb, Sacalobra, Niall and Ethan have gone for a, a bit of an effort and they've dropped us already. I'll try to keep you updated if I've got the energy. But for now, it's just me and me jelly babies, Matty G and Kylie. Me and Ethan have just completed Sacalobra. How was it? Oh, I don't know why I don't want to go like that. It's like Tour de France. Oh, the last part is the steepest, isn't it? Yeah. The last few switchbacks. Maybe like some parts where I'm like, okay, I'm feeling all right. And all of a sudden the legs are like, they got nothing in them. And then like, I'm fine again. Oh, God. And there's some of them when you come round, it was wind just in your face as well. You're like, oh, man. It goes all the way down to the bottom of sea level and back up. If you know about cycling, you know you know about Sacobra, it's not a nice climb at all. Oh my God. This guy's behind me. He's close to me for a bit. I'm like, I can't have a come from. Yeah, I saw him coming out. I thought yeah. he was probably going to take me while I'm done. And he did start to blow, so I was like, thank goodness for that. <laughs> Good, all the way. Keep it up. <laughs> Yeah, he was shifting at the start. Bring it in, Matt. Yeah. Oh, oh, through the top, through the top. No, through the top, through the top, through the top, through the top. Surviving. <laughs> Hi, Jay. How's that? Wow. Fun, but holy moly. Oh. I made it! I made it! Bloody hell, that was quick, Shuey! Yeah. Go on, boys, these. All the way. Take it, take it through the top. <laughs> Woo. With just over 100k left to go, we cycled past the beautiful Blue Lagoon. After this, we reached the tallest part of the island at the top of the Puig Major. We descended all the way down the bottom into Solaire. After going down, I had the brilliant idea because we want to go back up in a couple of days' time. Quick carrot cake and un croissant for Nile tea, and then we were up the cold of Salah. Boys started hurting, so teamwork became paramount. Here we are. Look at the air, it's like midday. And the sun is baking. Whoa. Oh, look at that view in the distance. Here we go, last climb of the day. Oh, we've got some tired legs. Oh, it's a bit hot out here. Oh, here we are, last climb of the day. Last oh, that was tough. Oh my gosh, man. So, made it back from the ride. We ended up doing 176 kilometers, I think it was. About 3,200 meters of elevation. And now the boys are recovering. <laughs> so we got cold water, hot water. And what's the, what's the plan? Hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Two minutes each. And I can only last about 30 seconds. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back to day three of the Tour de Mallorca SSPP edition. Today was classed as a rest day, so the team stuck together, making it all the way home until... <laughs> I don't know what Matt quite said to Charlotte, yeah. but she didn't take it very well. Don't worry though, both of them were okay. Charlotte just accidentally wrote off her bike. A new day on the bike. Unfortunately, there's only four of us. Matty G couldn't join us. He's resting up today. So hopefully he's better in later in the week. We're heading off to St. Salvador. So we'll go see a monastery right at the top of this hill here. Say a couple of prayers for Matt, and we'll be on our way back down. Here we going? Here we are. We're about to go up to there. Let's go. After catching Nar saying some prayers in the church, it inspired me to say some of my own. Unfortunately, my prayer for a taxi back didn't quite come true, but my prayer for fresher legs did. With just over 60k to go and all the climbing done, we took off our climbing legs and got in TT position. We chopped and changed lead at the front and managed to average just over 36 kilometers an hour all the way back home to the hotel. In the very little downtime we had, we immersed ourselves in nature with the duckies, but mostly we spent it in the spa. Isaac's sweating it out. In the gym, good man. <laughs> he's, trying to make, he's trying to make weight for tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow we've got a 20K, 20k time trial and... I think it's 21k, buddy. 21k time trial and a 10k run. Yeah, so what, trying are to, what are you doing? What are you doing to prepare? Trying to cut weight. You are? Yeah. What are you doing in here then? I'm dipping my toes. This is a cold No, you want to bulk so you can get your power These two boys just sitting on the side. Just get cold. yourself in, man. I can't, I can't. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. Is that the cold one, Brandon? <laughs> 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 You're going to get us kicked out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I would show you the other pool, but there's people swimming in it, and that's where the boys are. In a jacuzzi. Team time drop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon's next. That's <laughs> alright. I get through my walk quick. I need to. I'll have to stop for a piece halfway through. <laughs> Good luck, Brandon. Cheers. Good luck as well. Good luck, boys. I 
Three, two, one, go. Go on, Sonny Jim. That was fast, that. That was a good one. That was a good one. And the giraffalon was on its way. For those of you that don't know what a giraffalon is, it's a bike and a run. As you can see, the course is relatively simple. It's only 20 kilometers long with about four major turns all manned. It should be impossible to get lost. Unless you're Ethan, of course. And it was meant to be an individual time trial, unless you were Niall and Matt, who decided to draft each other for the final 5k. Thankfully, the running course was a hell of a lot simpler. It was 5k out to the marina and 5k back. Very little room for me to get lost this time round. Me and Brendan just finished the time trial. 20k run, 10k bike. Oh, it was not. Tell all the subscribers now. I've just had a wee in my jaws. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That was hard. That was hard. Oh. That was hard. Oh, man. Ooh. How was it? It was alright. Uh, first 2k off the bike was hard. <laughs> like, you feel like you should be going really hard. Like, it just feels like you're going nowhere. I wasn't warmed up in for that TT position. <laughs> it's time for the big one. <laughs> it is the final day of the Tour de Mallorca SSPP training camp. And for the last day, we have a big ride planned. With 200k submitted into our Garmin's, we headed inland. But as you can see from the gradient in the top left, the start was relatively easy. We cycled as a team, but left them just before the hills. And the first climb of the day was... The fellas had voted this section of the island as the most picturesque. But like the good YouTubers we are, we didn't get any footage for you. stuck to his word and on our final day we found ourselves at the bottom of big major this is the only uncategorized climb in Mallorca. it was bloody tough oh, that was that that's why it's the biggest climb in Mallorca. Before we got to Mallorca, the SSPP team had set ourselves a goal of getting to 10,000 kilometers ridden. But for us boys to help achieve that goal, we had to head back into the hills to do one more climb before it was time to go home. And oh boy, in that last stretch, did it get hot? I went down to 41, boys, it's alright. Here we are. Final climb of the camp. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Oh, it's pretty high out here now. Like I Got 40k to go. One last final push up the hill and a little stop at Nile's favourite petrol station. With all the elevation done, the boys made their final push with the mocktails in sight. After a great week of cycling, it was all over. <laughs> if you have made it to the end of the video and you're not one of our mums, Thank you very much. And if you haven't already liked the video or subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Stay tuned for our next video, whenever that might be. <laughs> Bye.